Stuart, what was your thoughts on that match tonight? Uh, not good enough, Scott. Simple as that. We knew we were coming into here tonight. Um, television cameras were here uh, to see an upset. That, that that was why this game was picked. I, I spoke to the players about that. I think everybody had a sense of how they're they're playing and their form at this minute in time um, and how difficult a place this is to come. You know, we stated all that before the game, but I probably just felt as if we uh, we, we 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 played into their hands. I just felt that we. We didn't at times stand up to what was what was going to get thrown in our direction. Um, I think the first goal shows you that. The first goal is so poor um, from our side of things um, to be able to concede that way. Um, and then, you know, f from our point of view, you're, you're expecting us to come with a, a, a real lift in the second half. We've always got a good reaction. We generally get a, a real good reaction from finding ourselves behind. Um, but again, fundamentally, you get a better start in the game. Morton don't get a chance to slow the game down, they don't get a chance to, 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 to disrupt the, the, the flow of the game, etc. and make it really ugly and scrappy. And that's not being disrespectful, That's we knew that that was what this game was going to be. Um, so by them getting in front, it gives them a chance to, to do all of that. Um, and, and, and as I, I'll, I'll repeat it, that's no disrespect for me, they're, they're fully entitled to do that. I, I, but what I do expect from my team is that we respond to it and, and, and we perform in a far better fashion. Especially when you see all those supporters behind that goal, uh, just in front of me here. Um, and I think we've let a lot of people down tonight, if I'm honest. We had a rally with, what, 10 minutes or so to go, where we started throwing crosses into the box, we started getting into the final third, tested their goalie once or twice, uh, and amongst that, uh, the goal we scored is a good one and probably symptomatic of what we thought was needed in this game, and we, we, we pretty much waited to that point to, to get that goal, uh, or to action it the way we did. Uh, so from my side of things, um, severe disappointment because I've heard stories and narratives before about, you know, we only concentrate in the league, you know, that's not a big loss, that's a huge loss to us tonight, um, it's a real sore one for me to take, I can assure you that the players are absolutely gutted in there, um, and I know uh, I know it's empty words at this minute in time when the supporters go back home, uh, travelling in that, that sort of number at this stage of the competition, they expect to see their team perform better, um, and I expect that team to perform better, especially after what they've shown me of late. It was a pretty flawless performance on Tuesday night. What do you, what do you put that down to that it's went downhill tonight? Different types of games, Scott. Different types of games. You know, sometimes when uh, it's a nice open pitch and uh, you know there's plenty of space out there for us to play and combine and create the number of chances what we did uh, as we did on Tuesday. Um, and that's lovely. I really enjoy that. That's nice. It's really good to watch. You stand back in the technical area. You feel comfortable because you've converted some chances and you're you know you're playing on the front foot. Um, but it gets to be played in your kind of plan A and it gets to be played exactly how you want it to be played tonight's a completely different night when the wind's blowing uh, there might be a few balls in the pitch or whatever you're, you're certainly going to be playing against a, a group of players that play in the division below you that have the bit between the teeth and really want to go and try and prove themselves and show um, that they can compete with you and better you um, and, and that's that that's the angle for me we're going to see that type of game uh, on, on a couple of occasions between now and the end of the season we're going to go away from home and find teams that want to kind of fight and scrap and load it up inside our penalty box um, and we've simply not stood up to it tonight in my opinion that's uh, that's what loses the game and then I, I, I've spoke I've spoke to you about this before we lose our discipline completely we lose our structure and we lose our shape you, you start to see long balls going up to the striker um, we're trying to play man for man we're trying to find ourselves in positions where there's all kinds of open spaces for Morton to counter into um, but that's our own doing because we're chasing a game at that point we're a better team when we play off a structure we're a better team when we play off a plan um, and you've seen in stages especially in that second half where it started to look ragged and it started to look kind all over the place. Um, I take full responsibility for that, as I always do. Um, but I can assure everyone that that was uh, my, my intention was to get our noses in front and start to play with a modicum of composure. But the whole game then turned into the cup tie that everybody wanted. Just looking ahead now to Aberdeen, how much of a reaction do you expect from this group of players? I always respect it. I, I, I always expect a reaction. The Aberdeen game will be completely different. I, I, I do say this all the time. Um, you know, I, I believe I think about the game an awful lot and what you're going to face next and what what you're going to be up against. Um, but there's still basic fundamentals that we see out here tonight that, that, that that's going to be a part of that game on Wednesday that we simply must be better at. Um, if I'm being honest with you, I didn't see it coming, Scott. That's that's the other thing. The performance, the result, I didn't see it coming. I think we've been doing plenty recently um, to suggest that we're a team that's in a decent place and a team that's um, you know, starting to make strides, not just in our, our league position and uh, amassing points, um, but in our performance level as well. And yeah, quite simply tonight, we, we can miles off that. And um, I probably did warn everybody, don't know whether I warned them too much, um, but if we come off it in any way, shape or form, then you could be on the end of uh, a cup exit. And um, that's certainly not what we wanted for the club. We found ourselves in that position last year. Um, we, we went away to a championship side 
like last year just before I came in and lost to Wraith Rovers um, and it was a it was a kind of turning point I suppose for the football club in the, in the sense that you know we did kick on in the league and we did uh, start to turn in some real performances thereafter and amassed plenty of points um, and we're going to need that again now moving forward. Thanks for your time Stuart. Cheers Scott.